While you were lusting all things DeLorean for Back to the Future Day, you probably missed the 3D scanning attachment for your phone, the cutest security sentry, and a record-setting light display. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where our fondest high school tech memories involve wheeling a TV cart into class to watch a movie. Little did we know. You're gonna see some serious shit. Things have advanced since those glory days. Russia just set a world record for the largest projected light display. The Moscow International Festival Circle of Light opened with a 205,000 square foot animation of the nation's history projected onto its Ministry of Defense building. The 50 minute long animation was so large, the crowd had to watch it from the other side of the Moscow River. Event organizers teamed up with Panasonic to create the light show and used 140 of the company's 20,000 lumen projectors. Just a bit of power needed to deal with that. 1.21 gigawatts! Tom, how am I gonna generate that kind of power? It can't be done, can it? The cutest little security camera you've ever seen is up on Kickstarter, starting at about 230 US dollars. Ulo the Owl can go into alert mode for about a week without being charged, but can live stream for about two days until it needs to be plugged in. It can also take photos, which the Owl winks for, come on, and you can customize its expression. When it needs a charge, your adorable Owl gets sleepy, and I'm seriously in love a little bit. Is this weird? It's weird. However, it's nowhere near fully funded with 40 days to go. So we'll see whether the most precious creature besides your cat will get to live with you someday. I sent him into the future. If you use a 3D printer, you may be looking into easier ways to get object models and that's where three Australians come in. The Eora 3D pairs a green laser with your Apple or Android phone and an optional Bluetooth powered turntable. The creators of the Eora say it has a three square foot workspace, takes about five minutes, and is precise up to 100 microns from a meter away. Once done, 3D files can be uploaded to 3D hubs, Shapeways, and Sketchfab right from the app. Now if only they would work on that 3D cheese printer problem. They should have gone right to the source for that one. Take me away. I don't mind. But you better promise me I'll be back in time. And finally, Japanese pop music, or J-pop, has gone right for our jugular of love with this dancing robot. And you can go full awesome by playing some K-pop girl group metal while your J-pop robot dances. Did Marty ever get into metal? See you tomorrow.